Oh, we showed you how Hernando County dropped these big concrete balls with the holes inside. Kind of looks like a giant wiffle ball. They dropped those into the Gulf back in November, right? Well, here's what they look like today, and it's pretty cool. Algae covered homes for the fish. ABC Action News reporter Wendy Lane shows us how the first of its kind project in this area is already making an impact. Man made reef balls were dropped off the coast of Hernando County six months ago, and teams are checking out what they look like today. Fish are swarming to a new place to call home. A lot of sea bass, uh, some juvenile grouper, lots of bait fish. Like algae covered condominiums built in a place that really needed housing, the pilot project is creating artificial reefs six miles off the coast of Hernando County. You have to go 20 or 30 miles offshore to find um, different type of tropical fish and, and structure. So this puts the structure closer to shore. So families with small boats can go out there and fish and snorkel. Scuba knots, a group of teen divers are counting the fish, checking how the reef balls are doing just six months in. Every time you would go to it, there'd be a new fish there that you hadn't seen before. But for diver Cole Colossa, this project didn't start six months ago. It started a year ago when he heard about his father working on the artificial reef and wanted to help. On an idea to paddle down the coast and draw some attention to my, uh, you know, my hometown. That idea? Kayaking 800 miles from the Panhandle to the Keys to raise money and awareness for the project. Now he's seeing the reef's progress for the first time. So seeing them down there, you know, actually, you know, bringing in fish and bringing in crabs and all sorts of other things. It's, it's, it's very exciting. The hope that the pilot program is successful and the county can use BP oil spill money to create more reefs for marine habitat. In Hernando County, Wendy Lane, ABC Action News.